Bros, it's 4.48 a.m. and we're actually doing this. I hope it works out. Bros, so I'm here, right? And there's absolutely no one at the drive-thru or even in the store, except for the workers, of course. What? And it's already 5.03. I thought more people would be out here, or at least one soul would be out here trying to get a red cup today. I ordered the chestnut praline drink with oat milk and no whipped cream. And they told me just now that they can't make it in this red cup, but they give it to me anyway. So we have secured the goods, which is just this cup and it looks adorable. I like it. It gives me minimalistic vibes and I prefer that to be honest over something extremely elaborate and over the top. So we did it. Okay, I just pulled over in the Starbucks parking because this is gonna be the best place to record. I'm just gonna try this real quick. I'm gonna give you a quick review. Yesterday, I actually tried the sugar cookie almond milk latte, but with oat milk, and that was good. I like the sprinkles on the top, even though they were dissolving super quick. It was good, but I did burn my tongue because I wasn't expecting the drink to be that hot. I think I'm used to Dunkin' Donuts drinks and for some reason, I didn't process that I should have kept the lid off so I can blow on the top of the drink and thus cool the drink faster. I just blew into the little hole like, not smart bros. And today I decided to, to test the chestnut praline latte. Bro, if I mess up in talking a lot, it's because I woke up at 4.20 this morning to get ready and be here on time. I think people are just now starting to get into the line. Yep. I'm so glad that I came here at 5.03 because there was literally nobody. I was the first person and then someone pulled up behind me and I could feel that they were trying to get into the Starbucks drive through even though I wasn't exactly in the little queue for it yet. I just felt it and I was right. I'm pretty sure, unless I lost track of them, but I'm pretty sure they followed me. So let's give this a try before I go to the gym, actually. I'm not going to drink this all, and it's definitely going to get cold by the time I get out of the gym because it's cold right now. It feels like 34 degrees, if I had to guess. It's probably colder, but it feels like 34 degrees. Something bearable with my coat on. If I didn't have my coat on, it'd be a different story, but it's manageable. Here it is. Look at it. Hopefully the low lighting isn't affecting the quality that much and you can see what the drink looks like. I love the cups above all else, to be honest. I'm not a Starbucks person, to be honest. I'm more of a Dunkin' Donuts person. Especially when it comes to coffee. I don't usually drink coffee drinks, but I will to get that red cup, which I did. And yesterday it was because someone bought it for me, so. And you actually subscribed to me, I think, because my subscriber count went up one after you checked out my channel yesterday. <laughs> thank you for that, by the way. I didn't even thank you. I need to text you today and be like, thank you for buying me that drink yesterday. The sugar cookie, almond milk latte. It's hot. Even just like this, I'm gonna put the wrapper back on because I'm not trying to burn my hands as well. My tongue, the tip of my tongue is still, you know when it's bumpy after you burn it? It's like that. And every time I put pressure on it, it's like a, a burning feeling, a slight burning feeling, it's nothing major. I'm gonna take this off. I ordered it with no whip. Does it have anything on the top? I think it's supposed to have praline crumbs. It barely does. I don't know if I can show you. Okay, I tried increasing the brightness. Honestly, that's what it looks like in real life. Can I put in the lighting, actually? I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, not bad. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Kinda looks like crumbled Biscoff cookies. Throwback to some airlines that offer that in their on their flights okay there we go super dark right now let me blow this before i burn my tongue off officially
I saw a review actually, I think it was yesterday, of this person trying out all the drinks that are able to be made vegan or that you are able to make vegan are able to make no that doesn't even make any sense it's not proper grammar because how are the drinks able to make vegan something you know what i'm saying the drinks that are able to be veganized or no that can be veganized that's correct right yeah and the best ones in their opinion were the tr the chestnut praline latte and the sugar cookie almond milk latte and also i asked my work bestie what she thought was the best seasonal drink at starbucks and she said chestnut praline so i decided to go with this one since i tried the sugar cookie yesterday okay i thought i burned myself for a second did i I don't know maybe a little bit I tried not to though it's so dark out here when I was driving here basically everything was closed except for the gas station and I'd never seen it like that I've never been up and on the roads this early before maybe like 30 minutes later I have like 5 30 ish and by that time i feel like more was open or like six o'clock usually but this early like before five o'clock everything was closed it was much darker than what i was used to oh my gosh gas is pretty bad 389 at exxon it's basically four dollars It's good. It's It has a strong coffee taste, so if you don't like coffee, you shouldn't get this, in my opinion. Yeah, it tastes... It tastes like a... I know it is a coffee drink, but... If you were to give me this, I would expect it to be like a regular... Maybe like a mocha drink. It doesn't really taste like chestnut praline when i imagine what that would taste like yeah i know it's good but it doesn't taste like chestnut praline in the way that i thought it would and that's fine it's still good would i get it again no but it's a pleasurable experience to get this it's a worthwhile experience Moving forward though, I'm gonna stick to my matcha latte, even in the winter. It was nice to be adventurous for a little while, yesterday and today, and it valió la pena, it was worth it, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't take it back, but matcha always hits, bro. Nothing will top it, in my opinion, not at Duncan. Not at Starby. And I mean the... Actually, hmm. It depends. It depends on the Starbucks that you go to. Because I've gone to some Starbucks where the matcha they've made, namely in airports for some reason, is so mid. So mid. And I don't know why. It's disappointing. Especially when you're trying to chill out and have good vibes and absorb all of the fun adrenaline filled exciting energy of the airport and then you get this matcha that's like sad because it's not sweet enough or it's not the texture isn't thick enough or tastes watered down no no me gusta okay that's all i had to say thanks for accompanying me on red cup day 2022 again here's a design super cute i will be using this to transport my hot drinks i think you can put hot drinks in here if not that would be a shame i don't know if it says it on the bottom actually let me see in the light it says bpa free recycle me uh what else 
I think it says it's somewhere on here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, top rack dishwasher safe. Remove lid before microwaving. Okay, I'm pretty sure that if you can microwave this, you can put hot drinks in it. It can withstand the heat. You just have to remove the lid before you microwave it. That's all it says down here. Yeah, so I'll be using this for hot drinks. It says, please use a cup sleeve. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not getting cup sleeves. Look at these. 25 years. I think they're... Oh, of holiday cup cheer. That's cute. That's cute. Thank you for accompanying, and I'll see you all whenever I see you. Bye.